We're going to showcase this guy today. Hey, boy. So uh, we're going to hit that soda can with this 22 Magnum, uh, just because soda cans are amazing. Are you ready? Yeah. Why do you keep floating around? Floating what around? You keep floating around. Mag plus V uh, is it, it's advertised at 40 grains, 2200 feet per second. I have them in my one inch pug uh, that's getting lovely and wet. And we're going to destroy this watermelon at um, point blank range, which is what this gun is for. This is not a gun for you to pull out and be like pew pew pew. That's Our last uh, video on the pug. That's was what a this gun bit. is for. Our last video on the pug was a little bit more of a review, and uh, this is just gonna be uh, kind of a showing what it's good at doing. Yep, and what I'm gonna do, too, is... It was a popular video, too, and uh, if you that. haven't seen it, uh, go and check it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load a real hollow point. This is a PDX-1 Winchester. And that gun, is good at whatever range. But this gun, it's not so much a gun as it is a weapon you would pull if your main arm is no bueno. So I would pull this out of my pocket and if someone was at point blank range, woo, like that. Woo. As you can see, uh, that's what that gun's for. Point blank, rip you open gun. Uh, took me by surprise there. That was more violent than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. So now, I'll go ahead and put this wet gun in my pocket holster and it's gonna be disgusting. Now let's back up and shoot, shoot this gun at a decent range. It's raining out here. So that was pretty spectacular, even though yeah. uh, we had already uh, opened it up with the 22 Magnum. <laughs> so uh, now that you've seen an accurate handgun, let's see what we can do with this guy. I'm gonna aim at that green, that big green pop, pop chunk right there, right? I hit it. One more. I hit it twice. I think I hit it twice. Yep. Hit. 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 So uh, to take it this guy good apart, out here. it smells like watermelon. Yeah. To take this guy apart, you actually have to disassemble it. I twist this key, I pull it out, and then I do this. As you can see, I've got the gun in two parts now, three parts, and then you knock out the the guys. And if you can zoom in the camera right here, uh, you can see that there's unburned powder uh, all up in there, or buffer or something. But the barrel's not long enough for it to burn all the powder. So it's it's definitely purpose made <laughs> for that. And this is this is what it's like to reload it. Whoa, whoa, losing my strips. There we go. 
So I got my little Bianchi speed strip there. And I gotta kinda hold it together while I insert and then, and then I got five more. So that's the NAA Pug. It's a really sweet backup gun, but again, this is a real gun. This is a belly gun. Comment, like, subscribe. Why don't you explain the concept of a belly gun for those of our viewers who are not sure what that means? Like point blank, pow! Just like I did with the watermelon. If you are pinned down or you can't get to your right arm with your real gun, if you are, you know, basically wrestling someone, you can get this gun out and just boom, use it. It's not really meant to be aimed. Though it can be aimed, ooh. Uh, though it can be aimed, it's really, you know, it's, and I can do, you know, at five feet, I can do three inch groups with it. It's just, that's not what this gun is about. This gun is about point blank defense. So I'm gonna do my speed strip reloads, right? Two at a time. Just like the big boys do. You wanna try it? I'll take a couple shots. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> now for authenticity, you should shoot it left-handed. Cause that's a true left-handed backup gun. That is. This isn't really my style. Not at all, huh? Yeah. So in, in my, my assertion would be that a backup gun doesn't necessarily have to be for the off hand. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's on the, it's worn on the off the, the other side of your, uh, so here we have a, a decock gun. Sometimes people will wear it as mm -hmm. a gun on the off hand side. Mm -hmm. So if they can get to that, they can, yeah. I like it in the left pocket though. That's that's really working for me. Yep. There you go. I'm gonna shoot this green chunk right here in front of me. Nice. Was that a hit? No. No. There you go. You hit something. See, as I remember when we were shooting this. Um, the big dot is a little bit high for what I would like yeah. this to be. Um, this is already fired, so this is going to rotate around. So this has already been fired. So this is what the sight picture looks like. Normally you would put that, right it like would that. be like this. But what I have found but, is that it works best right around there. I really like it. As, uh, as goofy it as it is, I really like it. Pull down, right? Yep. Pull down, rotate, and pull out. pull out. Yeah. You got it. Are those all fired? So often, even with nickel plated, yeah, there you go. You either have to blow it out or push it out or both. It's kind of a project. Uh, then again, I think five shots is, is plenty good. Um, it feels really solid in the hand. Yeah, it's does. another thing. Um, shooting it, you get the impression that it's got uh, it's got a good amount of recoil. Mm -hmm. You you get the impression that it's got uh, lethality. Oh, I think that watermelon was feeling the lethality. Oh, absolutely. I mean, 22 Magnum is nothing to shake its stick at. It's not my favorite for a go-to defensive round. Never recommend it as a home defense round. However, um, out of a one-inch barrel, it did the work. And. Uh, for the purposes of a backup gun or a hideout gun. Mm -hmm. um, pretty cool little gun. So NAA Pug, you might go take a look at that. Mm -hmm. And this is the T model. Comes with Tritium Big Dot uh, sights. Tritium Big Dot sights. Uh, that is Tritium, it glows really bright. It's awesome. And the Pebble Hogue grip, I think it's Hogue. You wanna shoot it? If it's a grip, it's probably a Hogue. Yeah, it's got the hook. Yeah. Nicole, you want to try it? Okay. Let me reload you. No. 
Cole Britton with Gray Fox Ranch. And it is, um, you have to cock it like a single action. Watch your hands. I have found that you cannot take a real grip with it. You can't hold it like a real gun. Yeah, it's so small you can't even grip it like a gun. How's the recoil? <laughs> nice. Again? Uh, is that five? I have more. Is that all five? Mm hmm. Now pull that off. Pull that down and out. You pull it. Yeah, there you yeah. go. You got to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you can use that rod to knock it out individually. Or you can put it in your mouth and blow on it. We'll blow it. Watching you rock, work that rod, girl. That's right, man. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> in case anybody, oh, I'm good. In case anybody uh, is worried about the food we wasted, I'm sure the deer will come and eat it. Yeah, they will. And then later, <laughs> special thanks to my wife, by the way, for buying this for my 30th birthday. So, um, Signing off, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. We're all coming to your house. Right. We're going to have to retake that because that would be ah! stupid. Okay, then just cut it off. Just cut it. It's, it's, you can't just cut that because you're in the middle of... <gasps> because... Okay, all right. Cut it off, it'll be funny. This is Jim with Peace, Love, and Guns. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, ah! do that. Oh, he'll do it. Sit he'll on do it. it.